This is part 7 of the question and answer book The Manchurian's Newest Civilization. Here we touch on the topics of thought, time, space, dimensions, dualities, our higher self, exponential truth promulgation, and on the nature of the Manchurians as they live in their own realm of the 16th dimension. All sessions were recorded in 1995 in Tempe, Arizona. Session 2 Today is Monday the 9th of May 1995. Manchurians, greetings. Director, greetings. Are you coming in Christ consciousness and in the spirit of oneness with the universal mind of the creation? Manchurians, we are the Manchurians. We are indeed in the oneness of Christ-mindedness. We feel to commend you tonight for preparation for our project for the benefit of your people. We are delighted. Director, what dimension are you from? Manchurians, we locate within the 16th dimension for we operate on the multi-16th dimensional vibrational frequency, we are sure. In order to participate you must form yourself through layer upon layer which seat right inside each other. We have formulated indeed. Director, thank you. Do you travel by thought only? Manchurians, thought is an essence of all peculiarities upon your dimensional frequencies. Thought to us means no less than doing and being at that point of reference at that exact time of which we do not locate time as in your definitions. Thought to us is no more nor no less of a perception into one plane or dwelling habitation than that which you yourselves dwell with your people. We are very honored at this time to have opportunity to share and to describe these universally known concepts into your realm for the understanding of each and every seeker of the truth. We intend to greatly elaborate on nuances, which come from time to time in the course of justifying our methods unto your reasoning, and hopefully your prowess will direct you therein. In examination of all known frequencies you will find that thought is no more of a projection than you yourself are for you have projected your consciousness from the one source of your own being. This is filament down through the layers into multi-dimension, you see. In effect, it is very similar to having three outer shells, one layered on top of another, depending here on the rapid growth of your higher self versus your lower. And here is the connection, for if layer upon layer are torn away, it bridges the gap. In essence then, we would have complete contact at all times with our higher consciousness or Godhead, for each of you are a trinity in yourselves, though here again, not many understand the true concept of infinity. We have knowledge far beyond the stars for we are older than your greatest stars. Many have gone nova and many shift and many change as your earth one day will and soon to be, by your concept of time. But here again, we must mention and elaborate it as most important that you understand to tell your people from us, that layer upon layer must be broken down in order to fully benefit your growth and your situation on your upward journeys. Proceed. Director, thank you. Why is it so difficult for us earthlings, or earth humans, to even be aware of a higher self and to transfer our consciousness into our higher self? Manchurians, as we have rapidly explained, and for the second time we would tell you, that you trip on the layers, the layers of dimensions, the layers of vibrational frequencies, which build upon themselves, which are all combined. They must be broken down as molecules into atoms. This is indeed a serious conquest at best, but we have progressed, and by our example we have proved that all things are possible through the tie and the oneness with the Creator. We are the Manchurians. We are the Creators. One day you will be creators. You will be one body with us. One body with the creator. You too will find yourself being universes. Proceed. Director, thank you. Could you please explain the duality of the creator and of our particular universe? Manchurians, the duality of the creator is an amazing fact. Many subject the creator to be of two parts only, male and female as father and mother, or brother and sister. You get the idea, we're sure. However it does go into much further concepts of your understanding. Here we will explain in your definitions, to begin with then, the Creator has a starting source, for the Creator is not just one as individualism, but the Creator has many sides of duality. 
Many sides of duality concur with the fact that there are many hundreds of thousands of universes and galaxies and planets and planes and dimensions and frequencies. Each has a different duality, for whenever you find duality, you also find another breaking of duality, similar to taking a molecule and giving it duality and when that is broken down into many atoms, then you break them down. And each has a duality, and this is in essence how the creator is dualities. Universes themselves work by the same standards. Do you understand? Director, yes. Mancharians, we have proven ourselves as dualities, but we are one body, but we have many dualities. For we have formed countless galaxies, and every intricate part of the galaxies have dualities, and among them they are cut into more dualities. You never may have anything without having the exact opposite. This is how the law of balance works. Director, thank you. Is part of your own duality in your realm also a male and female duality? Mancharians, there are many dualities, you see. There once was the male and female, but that duality did so come together in blissful surroundings, and from that duality came other dualities. Others gathered with the male and female half, and they performed to be dualities to another and so forth and on it goes. So you see, it is the building of the universes. And as it is broken down into parts and portions where you actually have the male and female, then again you find yourself on third dimensional dualities. Proceed. Director, thank you. Why have you only chosen three from our dimension to speak through? The masters, as well as other entities, speak through several prophets, simply because there is so much variety of information. Mancharians, this would seem to you to be complex. We do perceive however, that we have explained several times, we are not messengers. We are the Mancharians and we have a duty to perform. However, we will explain our formula, in the universe, and brought down as perfect truth of a working order by the Creator, it is said to be an approven fact in every universal structure, that whatever is above, that goes down, will multiply. This is what one of your messengers who brought his truth to the earth many years ago, when he taught about multiplying the fish. As soon as you put any bait out, you will find you have many grabbing it, and it multiplies itself like worms procreate. There will be no need to work with a lot. This has been sanctioned by us. For once word gets out, it will receive its duality and build upon the law of duality. Its essence alone will attract. People will fight for truth in the end days, as you call it, and this is a glorifying time because of the love for truth in the hearts who so desire it and work long and hard on their journeys. We have elaborated upon many things in the past eons. Not so. We do not find necessity among your people to be running to and fro from one to the other. Will not one here and one there suffice if the law of duality is indeed in order? Or do you ones wish to prove the law of duality and make it difficult by harboring such information and tying it and blinding it, so nobody knows it but you? Director, certainly not. Mancharians, we would never expect that, therefore we are careful in our choices. Do not elevate yourselves, but put the words of truth of the Creator out. These we do not consider as our words alone, for we are the Creators. We are all one. So you see, you must make your people understand, these are the words of the Creator. Proceed. Director, thank you. Can you explain how time and space are rolled into one? Mancharians, time and space are a concept for your limited minds indeed. It is a gratifying experience to share with you and your people. Time is in essence no longer valid. And space, there is a window, you see. If you were to take a timeline and take another timeline six inches away, what would you have in the middle but space? You take the timelines away which is similar to taking your dimensions away, because you have then broken through the dimensions into the next dimension, missing the fourth dimension, and you find your timeline has collapsed, and so has space. This is an exceedingly simple but profound concept we believe to be important for your people to understand. We do delight in bringing the truth. We love teaching kindergarten. Reni Centenaries, our presence on internet is freeearthsystem.net. As well as, 
Starship Federation. At space. Co. Uk. My presence on Facebook is facebook.com forward slash centenaries. It is our intent to pre assent to you listeners the words of the Mancharians from the book The Mancharians' Newest Civilization in audio segments of approximately 5 to 9 minutes in length. Happy listening.